So in the past, you might have used wires or cables to connect to traditional cameras, but the SE2 is a little bit different. The SE2 emits its very own Wi-Fi signal, and so this allows you to connect to the camera using your computer or laptop like you would connect to like an internet router or something. So in order to connect to the camera, you're going to have to put it in what's called access point mode. It's pretty simple. When your camera is on, you should see a blinking Wi-Fi signal. And this blinking Wi-Fi signal means that the camera is discoverable by your computer or phone. All right, so we're going to be connecting to the Rico Theta SE2 on my Windows computer. So first thing, I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi settings. And then here you can see the Theta. This is the name of the camera and a bunch of numbers. So let's go ahead and try to connect to it. Now for Windows, it's, it was bringing up that it wanted me to enter a PIN, but in fact, I want to connect using a security key. And the password to connect to that data is just going to be the numbers uh, that are in the name. So in this case, it'll be 20001005. And you can see there, I will attempt to connect and I'm just going to say yes, because now it's going to be on this checking network requirements for a while because um, it's trying to see if the data has internet access, which in fact it does not. But once you see the um, icon, the Wi-Fi icon on the LED screen of the data SE2 go to solid and not blinking, that means you're connected. And you can see that when you go to uh, the Wi-Fi that you are in fact connected to this data camera. We can check to make sure that we're actually connected to the data SC2 by entering the following command into your browser. 192.168.1.1, which is the access point of the camera, never changes no matter which camera you're using. And we'll just use OSC info, which is a basic command. So what does it all of this mean? Well, we've created a separate tutorial that's going to detail all of what this means but more importantly, it's going to get you started with developing a basic app in the command line that's going to be able to send information to the camera, do things like get the state of the camera, take a picture, download it to your local file system, and also display it to your screen.